Hey guys, super excited for today's video because I'm going to be reviewing water soluble stabilizers for you guys. So stick around to see what I have on hand and what I use it for. Before we get started, I'm gonna ask you, as I always do, to please like and subscribe because you would not regret it. You're going to get some amazing content updates once you subscribe. So go ahead and subscribe now. And if you're watching this, I'm assuming that you'd like to learn about the different types of fabrics and how it affects your embroidery design. So I have a resource that I'm gonna share with you guys at the end, so stick around to get that. And now I'm gonna drink my Cuban coffee. Mm. It's really, it's actually really hot. So before we get started, I'm just gonna backtrack really quick for the newbies. Um, water soluble stabilizer is either a topping or a backing, and by that I mean you, if you use it as a topping, that means you place it on top of your embroidery design, and that still requires a stabilizer on the bottom of the design, depending on the fabric that you're using. And the reason that you use a topping is because it's to protect the stitches from sinking into textured fabric. So typically people use water soluble stabilizer on top of an embroidered design when they're working with textured fabrics that have a lot of nap and that can run the risk of your stitches not coming up clear. So what is we do? We put a piece of water soluble stabilizer right on top. It stitches over it, it dissolves in the water and it gives it a nice raised layer so that your stitches don't disappear in that type of fabric. Something else that water soluble stabilizer is used for is small lettering. And that again is to serve the same purpose, just to make sure that the stitches are coming up really nice and clear. Now on the other hand, some people also use water soluble stabilizer as a backing. And this is more so on projects that um, you can see from both sides. So maybe something like mesh, the, the side of a cap, you can use water soluble stabilizer to make sure that you're not seeing backing on the other side of the design. Another example for a fabric that you'd use water soluble stabilizer for is something like organza or something like a tutu where you can see from both sides and you don't want that backing that you cut away or tear away to show on the other side. So now that we got the basics covered, let's talk about the products that I'm using because over the years I have been trying different water soluble stabilizers. So I have picked a few of the ones that I'm currently using right now to talk about and explain what they're best for. So let's get started with this right here. And this is called Sulky Ultra Salvi. <laughs> so besides Aqua Top Topping, which is something I'll get into later, this is the first one of the first uh, water soluble stabilizers that I became familiar with and I still use it to this day. Why? Because it's a very sturdy water soluble stabilizer and it can be used for a lot of things. So let's backtrack really fast. Sulky has different types of solvi. This is the ultra solvi, which means that it's a heavier type of water soluble stabilizer. If you see, it has very little stretch and it's really like heavy duty. So that means that you can actually use this as a backing on projects like I said before, like the organza or the mesh, you can use something like this because it's heavy duty. You can also use something like this for patches because it's not gonna make the patch pop out. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch our patches video so you can know what I mean when I'm talking. <laughs> when creating patches, I like to use this when I have already created my actual patch on a different piece of fabric. And then I just cut that fabric out and adhere it to this patch and do the final stand and stitch on this. Now something to look out for when you are using a plastic water soluble stabilizer as a backing is that you don't want your design to be too dense because having too many stitches packed into such a tiny little area could cause it to pop out of this uh, type of backing. And next up we have another one that's very similar to the Sulky Ultra Salvi but this right here is called the Badge Master. So this right here is actually a little bit thicker than the Sulky Ultra Salvi, but I will say it has a little bit more stretch than this one does. So basically these are almost the same. They really serve the same function. This right here was created for uh, badges, um, or another word for them is patches, which I said that I also do on my Sulky Ultra Salvi uh, stabilizer. So I just picked this up to kind of play with it and see the result. And so far I'm really loving it. And yeah. So with the Badge Master, because of its thickness, I have been able to create patches right on the water soluble stabilizer without any issues. The Badge Master comes in this thickness. It's like the thickest that you can get a water soluble stabilizer. Um, so it's also good for freestanding lace. 
However, like I said, um, same. you just have to wash out for density the same as the other plastic water-soluble stabilizer. So just like other types of stabilizer, water-soluble stabilizers also have their own weights. So I usually use the thicker ones as a backing and the thinner ones as a topping. So this right here, a lot of people find it hard to believe that it's water soluble, but it is. This is a fabric wash away. And in my opinion, it has the least stretch, as you can see, I'm pulling, has the least stretch out of all of the three. Um, and while I like to use them all for different things, I really like this uh, wa fabric wash away for freestanding lace and also to create patches straight on the fabric. Now this right here is the Pellon fabric wash away that I picked up at Joann's. Um, it can also be called interfacing. You might have heard that before. That is what this is. And um, when you dissolve it, it kind of dissolves into like a gel like uh, kind of substance. So it's kind of interesting. So I like to use this for my freestanding lace designs, especially because I know that um, I could they could be a little bit denser, they could be a little bit larger, and I know for sure that it's not gonna pop out before it's complete. Um, a lot of times I like to just double it up and uh, pop in a freestanding lace design, doesn't matter the stitch count or the density really, because I know that I'm backed with this. Something else that I really like about this is that since it is a fabric, you can actually just embroider your entire patch on this um, and, and kind of like treat it like if it were an applique because it's gonna, since it's water soluble, um, it will still give you that really clean um, satin stitch border. So instead of doing it in two hoopings, you can do it in one. And again, if you guys have no idea what I'm saying, go ahead and watch my patch um, embroidery tutorial. And if you guys want to see me do patches, using this stabilizer, then I'll gladly do a video for you guys. So something else that I don't have on hand at the moment, um, but I do want to talk about because it's something I use very often, is called Aqua Top Topping. Now, as its name suggests, it is a water soluble stabilizer that's uh, lightweight, so it is designed to be a topping. However, if you double or even triple up, I would say triple up on that aqua top topping, then you can have it function similar to these babies. But of course, um, each of them have their specific functions. What I like to use aqua top topping for is for small lettering on caps. And the reason why I really like it on caps is because it's not adding so much thickness the same way that the Solvi would. The, it's extremely lightweight, so you're not adding extra thickness that can probably cause needles to break or just other machine embroidery issues since, ca since caps are already thick to begin with. The aqua top topping that I use comes in little pre-cut squares, so I really like them to just hoop it up with a polo or float it right over a polo whenever I have um, more detailed designs, which is usually whenever you're embroidering like a company logo, if they have any lettering in their names. Um, you definitely want to just place a piece of little of aqua top on top of there to make sure that your stitches come out really nice and clear. So let's have some fun, you guys. Comment below and tell me what types of water soluble stabilizer you use and what you use it for. And like I promised you guys, in the description below, you will find the ultimate embroidery cheat sheet, which is a list of 50 fabrics and the best materials to use with each. So go ahead and download that if you want to become a pro at embroidery. And before you go, I want you guys to please like and subscribe. You will not regret it because you will get updates on this amazing content. And yeah, it's gonna take you one step closer to becoming the embroidery pro that you want to become. Or if you're already a pro, you know, you're just gonna be able to gloat that you already know all this information. So before you guys go, please make sure to like and subscribe and join the Facebook group in the description below so you can chat with me and thousands of other embroiderers. I will see you guys in there, goodbye. That's not that, it was fast, but it wasn't no, like. That was pretty good, that was pretty good. Gorgeous, that was gorgeous. Okay. My review of this Q and coffee, it's a little sweet, but the foam, the foam is great. Kind of grains everywhere, but it was hand delivered to me for free. So I will say that. Anyway.